WFNN. Headline News Update. Good morning, folks. This is Steve Rhodes coming to you live from the shores of Cloudy, Delray Beach, Florida. This is your 11 a.m. update and currently have a uh, not a mixed bag. We have all the uh, sea of red, so to speak. You've got all the U.S. indices trading to the downside. The Dow's up about eight tenths percent, 263 points, one and two tenths for the S&P, 47 points there, 120 points for the Nasdaq 100. That's off one percent. Russell's down one and a half percent. The semis are flat. They're down just two bucks out there. Trendy's off 3% at 428 bucks. Gold's off $13. Silver's down 62 cents. Light three crude is off 276. Natural gas up six pennies, but it's testing the resistance. You'll see that shortly. The 30 year treasury's off 23 ticks. She's printed out at 125.22. And the US dollar index up 83 cents. Now I've got a 10 minute delay out there, so it could be higher or lower than that. Let's go see what all this means by taking a look at our nine panel. Market update chart. We begin in the upper left. You've got the ES mini. Now, the ES mini, 2A to B equals CD patterns that are in that are present. The shorter term one has generated a sell the D point pattern. So now what we've got is we have price that is uh, testing a brand new profile. Remember yesterday we looked at it. There was a new profile that was attempting to form. It did take place. That support level is 39.2575. We're trading slightly below that right now at 39.20. Close below that which suggests to me that the spot volatilics would then go target its 50-day exponential moving average. That's at 26.73. The NQ also forming a new profile, though it keeps getting messed up here. Oh, shoot, that was the wrong chart to hit. Uh, sorry about that, folks. Let me just try refreshing this chart here. Just want to see if that, yeah, so that new profile, price is testing that level right now. That level, by the way, the bottom of support is 11,594.45. I noticed before we came on the air that Apple was also testing the bottom of its daily profile as well. But bottom line is a close below 11,594, which suggests lower price for the NQ. The U.S. dollar index, that'll be the culprit out here. Now, the U.S. dollar index yesterday, two days ago, my apology, generated a buy the D point pattern. From a nice bullish chamber candle. And then this morning, what the US dollar index has done is formed a new bullish structured profile. Now, if you listen to the show for a long time uh, or for whatever period of time, and you've heard me discuss a bullish or bearish structured profile, the US dollar index is a bullish structured profile. The center of that profile is printing at, good question, let me see if I can actually visually see that, printed at 106.32.30. Now, it doesn't really matter where it's trading at 11.02. It matters where it's trading at the end of the day. And a close above 106.30 is going to suggest that the U.S. dollar index is going to make a run to 108.02. If that happens, we'll see pressure inside the equity markets and inside the metals markets. Stay tuned for the Trader's Edge show. But if you're off to start your Wednesday, please have a terrific one. And we'll look forward to seeing you again soon. Take care now.